and documented. After chronic dosing, the rats begin to avoid social contact and reject their sugar water, suggesting they no longer seek pleasure. They move fast and startle easily. Schizophrenics withdrawal from society, they have this social withdrawal. We, we saw the same thing in the rats. They became much more active, they became much more aggressive, and that's another symptom that occurs in schizophrenics. Does this mean that LSD can cause schizophrenia, or does it just mimic some of its effects? There are cases of people who have taken LSD or other psychedelics, and it's precipitated a long-lasting psychiatric disorder in schizophrenia. The consensus in the literature seems to be that that doesn't happen in people who are not uh, predisposed to the illness. That is, someone who would have developed schizophrenia or the illness in any case. The behavior of Nichols' highly dosed rats mimics schizophrenia so well that it's helping his search for a cure. Geneticist Charles Nichols is David Nichols' son and collaborator. He's investigating changes within the genes underlying these behaviors. By understanding how LSD produces its effect at the molecular and genetic level, we could potentially understand mechanisms underlying diseases like psychosis that have very similar overlapping behaviors. If we could go back to the earliest onset of schizophrenia and discover what causes it, then I think we could develop drugs that might arrest it. Mental illness and psychedelic drug use both affect the way the world is perceived. A simple magician's trick shows us why. They call it the hollow mask study. It's all about the way our mind plays tricks on what the eyes see. Dr. Torsten Passi, professor of consciousness studies at the Hanover Medical School in Germany, oversees the test. He has three groups. One is schizophrenic. Another on psychedelics and the third, healthy and sober. He then asks the participants to look through a viewfinder at an image of a face mask. Then they view a second image which appears to be exactly the same. Can you tell the difference? The pictures which are looking like normal faces, but they are in fact not. Like all hollow masks, one side is convex, facing towards you. And the inside is concave, or hollow. No matter which side of the mask they see, the healthy and sober group sees it as facing towards them, because that's what their mind expects. However, those with mental illness or on psychedelics can differentiate between the two sides the majority of the time. Why? Scientists estimate that the brain receives 11 million bits of information per second, but the conscious mind can only process about 200 bits at a time. To handle that amount of input, the brain connects new information to preconceived concepts. For example, if something is flying beside you in a very high speed, you may think that may be dangerous, you know, but if you can identify with your concept these little tiny bit of perceptual info, you know, into, oh, that was a bird, then if there's no danger and you calm down again, it's no problem. By temporarily suspending the brain's ability to connect data with these concepts, psychedelics may decondition the mind. It's as if the filters that we normally have in order to function are lowered 
so that literally more can be taken in, more sensory impression, more emotional impression, more visual impression, and more access to parts of the mind. For some, this might be overwhelming or frightening. But for others, it's their way of life. Psychedelics have made me a better person without any doubt at all. It's made me calmer, it's made me more patient, cool. it's made me more imaginative. Like, psychedelics are probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. My hands are moving in perfect unison with the poise. Key Fairy and Burning Dan practice a hybrid of dance, juggling, and meditation called flow. Today, each of them has put several drops of LSD on their tongues. It'll take about 40 minutes to kick in. Shh. Feels so like Matrix, Ninja, Jedi. Kung Fu, like... I'd say we've probably tripped together, what, actually 30 times? That sounds about right. Yeah. I personally have taken psychedelics, if you count all psychedelics, a couple hundred times. They credit psychedelics with improving their flow skills. One thing about psychedelics is that they slow time down or maybe it's just that it speeds your brain up but you have this experience that's like kind of like the bullet time experience where it seems like you have all the time in the world to just reach out and like got it I use LSD as a tool it allows me to do things that I couldn't normally do I can feel patterns I can do tricks. Novel concepts occur to me as obvious and easy. And they are obvious. All great ideas are obvious. Not all obvious ideas are great. Key Fairy and Burning Dan, along with thousands of others, 